Bonjour. My last day in Paris. Yes, when you, uh, you know, have dirty hair, you just throw it back in a ponytail. So we're trying to be Paris chic with it in a glow ponytail. Anyway, uh, head to Starbucks. Let's see if they're open this morning. So today I am going to go to, I think, uh, Louis Vuitton at Place Vendôme because I haven't had a chance to get there yet and it's supposed to be a beautiful store and I would just like to go. I am then headed back to Le Bon Marché to pick up some things, maybe look at some things. <laughs> then I'm going to the Delvaux presentation. Uh, and then just depending on when that gets done, I may have to head back to the hotel and finish packing things and then leave for the airport. So I think, I figure I need to leave at about four o'clock our time here. It looks like it takes approximately an hour to get to uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport. I need time to get through like the Pablo, which is the, the bat back systems. I just wanna make sure I, you know, if I have to go to customs and get something checked, that I have time to do that. And then obviously, you know, get through security and all that because they don't have TSA pre here, so I have to go through the whole like normal process. So that being said, uh, let's see what we can get accomplished today. I tried to leave the hotel a little bit early so that I can get my coffee, get on the, I almost said the tube, <laughs> get on the metro and get to where I'm going. So let's have a lovely last day in Paris. All right coffee procured. If I didn't mention it yesterday, their coffee, like this is the same drink I get. It's oat milk, brown sugar, shaken espresso. It tastes very different. It tasted the same in London as well. So I don't know if it's their brown sugar syrup that tastes different. I don't know if it's their oat milk that tastes different. I don't know if it's a coffee that tastes different. I don't know. But it definitely has a different flavor to it. It's good, but it's just different than what we have in America. So, I have my coffee. Let's go shop. So, I have to say, it's very quiet on uh, Rue Saint Honore. I don't know if it's because shops don't open until 10 and it's, it's only a couple of minutes before 10. But yeah, it's like eerily quiet. Um, yeah, strange. <laughs> anyway, on my way to the Plus Vendome store for Louis Vuitton and we'll see if they have any special pieces. I'm just trying to make sure I've covered all my bases before I make the purchase at Le Bon Marche. I just want to <laughs> just feel like I need to make sure no stone is left unturned. You know what I mean? Oh, and look. The line at Goyard is already a thing. I'll show you as I walk by. Cracks me up. All right. Um, I should probably make sure that I'm walking the right direction. I think I am, because I'm here. <laughs> Novelty. What, what is like, what's the pull for Goyard? Because the St. Louis tote, you can't really put that much stuff in it, so it's horrible for travel because it was meant for a beach bag. So, my understanding is if you overstuff it, which you would do when you're traveling, it will rip. Like, it will, you'll like, anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not super familiar with it, but if somebody could please explain the height, I would love to know. As they would say, Inquiring minds want to know.
quite a few solid pieces left. Interesting. I sort of feel like those look like they're not the ruby slippers, but like the ruby slippers before they crumpled up underneath the house in The Wizard of Oz. So I am on Boulevard des Invalides. Don't know if I said that right. Uh, it's beautiful over here. I don't know what arrondissement I'm in. That map over there probably says it, but I'm not gonna go look. Anyway, I am on my way to, actually, let's go look. I'm on my way to the Delvo presentation and just looking to see if it says what arrondissement I am in. Hmm. It does not say. Oh well. Anyway, I just came from Le Bon Marché where I was a very naughty little girl. But I came away with some amazing pieces. Most of them are being messengered to my hotel, but I did pick up a little something at Fendi. Told them not to give me a box because I'm just gonna throw away the box because goodness knows I have enough Fendi boxes, not to mention it would be hard for me to get it home. So, although I will say that the couple of the pieces that are being messengered to me are very special and I need to bring those boxes back. But anyway, uh, it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'm gonna lean up against here for a moment gorgeous day in Paris. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 68 degrees, something like that. Cool, beautiful, perfect weather for my last day. Uh, just as I, wearing my Fendi, which, so if I explained, I think earlier in my, I think in my wish list video that the Previous, a previous vice president, I believe was her title, at Fendi, now is the president, I think that's her title, of North American Sales for Delvo. So I've always been interested in the brand and I am very excited to see their new Spring Summer 24 collection. And Brandon, when I was chatting with him and told him I was gonna be here, he's like, oh my gosh, you have to like talk to her. So he's amazing, of course. So he connected the two of us and I'm, like I said, gonna go watch the presentation or I guess view, but she's gonna take me around personally. Hopefully I can vlog it, I would assume. I'm pretty sure that Brandon let her know that I film content. So anyway, all right, well, I, let's see. I'm a little bit early. So maybe I'll film a little bit on this boulevard, maybe not. Uh, anyway, I'll just be early. Let's see if she's here. So Delvo rented this beautiful space for their spring summer 2024 presentation. And this was a collaboration with Belgian artist Casper Bosmans. I was so honored to have Amanda Whiting, the president for North American Sales, as well as Zarina, who is the boutique director for the New York City location, give me a personal tour of the entire space and the presentation and explain the collaboration to me and all of the new pieces and show me some incredibly special pieces. And as you can see, 
can see it right there, we actually were the first brand who officially had the handbag patent oh, register. Interesting. So, humbly, we are handbag creators. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> of the modern bag the way we know it today. Uh, beautiful, beautiful animations, creative approach to our, some of our iconic bags. So right there you see Pond. Pond is actually one of our most iconic bags. It was created in 1972 by Madame Schwinnik, who was the wife of the owner back in time of uh, you know, the famous Belgian family. It's part of the um, Perfect for some Yeah, these are works that are Casper created specifically for this collection and installation. And all of those on the on the web are individual pieces of leather that have been applied. Oh my gosh. Ah <laughs> Wow. Well you don't even realize that it's leather until you get up close and see that the whole thing is wow. Interesting. Oh, this is really I right. love. So this technique is very, very special for us. We introduced it last year. It's called Arsenal. It's actually inspired by our headquarters office that is located in the former armory. Um, and it's, it's a gorgeous red brick building. And this is again Casper's uh, interpretation of the flag and then coming around oh, to the idea okay. of identity. Very nice. <laughs> so is this the back of that set? The touch is just really specific. Oh my gosh, that's just beautiful. Special learning. particular style with perforation it's called Aries and we first introduced it last year and it was inspired by the you know those old school suitcases uh, that had aluminium frame mm -hmm. and um, when when we were producing luggage back in time obviously <laughs> and when we were shifting from a wooden base luggages into something lighter and more travel friendly for um, airline traveling, mm -hmm. um, Delvo actually came up with an extremely creative way to have uh, aluminum frame, but it was still kind of heavy. So they laser cut the holes to make it as light mm -hmm. as possible. We actually, the first brand that used it, and we use this uh, technique right now as inspiration for that um, you know, momentum. Mm -hmm. But it comes back from the times when we actually were Innovators. Yeah. We have a special heritage department that made a huge work of going um, and researching and finding those old pieces and sourcing them. Oh. So we have over 3,000 designs in our wow. legendary Bible, we call yeah. it, where we document every single design that ever produced since the. I read about that. Started. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's like over 3,000 exactly. designs. <laughs> and not only that. Such we... a good student. <laughs> yeah. I try to have yeah. a little background about a brand before but it's I. It's to go inside yeah. the history. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I just think it's amazing that it's yeah. all cataloged. So, this so is this. Tapestry? I was going to say, so, oh my gosh. Yeah. If you open, this is actually inspired by domestication of wolves, believe it or not. Depending how you look at it, you either see the wolf or you see the person. So it's, it's very Wait, creative. Wait, person, hold on. Mm -hmm. I, I'm seeing the wolf. Right. Oh, is but the person in the middle? It's, it's this. Or you got the gray silhouette. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's um, avant-garde, right? How you call that yeah. concept? Yeah. <laughs> But it's all in it's it's all in the eye in terms of what mm -hmm. you see, and so that's that's, that's what the artist wants us when to we, contemplate too. Uh huh. When, you know, we, front, right? mm -hmm. so when you see the art, then interpret it here. Um, 
the atelier that makes this tapestry is the oldest in Northern uh, Europe, five, wow. five centuries. It's been creating tapestries for, you know, European royalty and this again, um, Easter crocodile in the back, but mm -hmm. this is lizard offered into our iconic lines, Brion and Tempad. Those sizes are extremely popular. They can go yeah, to the blue is beautiful. The colors, the colors. Are do you produce this bag still, or is it? Um, this particular piece was part of the capsule because the classic um, bag looks like right. this. This one is a diva edition with the metal inserts. Yeah, it's the gorgeous. Diva the edition. diva. I know that when I heard that, I was like, "Did you really just say that?" So, um, <laughs> yes, Amanda knows me. She well, knew the minute Can I get I a shot of yours too, Amanda? Of course. Uh, that is. The minute is that I heard the light, yeah. I had to have a bag. <laughs> That's beautiful. Mm. We use a dream leather, which is a very, very soft um, finishing. And then over time, it, it develops this gorgeous patina. We want mm -hmm. to make it sort of like perennial vintage. Or... So it is, uh, you know, more sensitive to scratches than yeah. like your regular calfskin or even Torian calfskin. But it's intentional. We yeah. want it to be really looked shows, like like shows your history. Yes. Past the regenerations. Yeah. Precisely. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Latest editions is a fabulous Lingo collection. Here mm -hmm. you can see some of the exceptional um, crocodile options. This bag is truly, truly amazing. It's practical, it's modern, it's gorgeous. Yeah, stunning. I love this style. It's yeah. actually my favorite of the right? brand. Oh. And we have such a positive feedback in regards of just functionality yeah. because it looks stunning crossbody, but then you can also wear it with Shoulder doubled, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't need to ask me to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> so right? Good. This perfect size, and as you can see, it's quite functional inside. Yeah. I want you to touch the lining. Arizona leather, oh, the nice, softest lambskin out there. Mm -hmm. I think this gorgeous color um, on our new edition, which is a lingo clutch, but this finishing is so modern, oh, yeah. and I love the combination of uh, mm -hmm. gold. The gold and the thing. silver, mm -hmm. yeah. It's really nice, mm -hmm. beautiful. And then, we're also presenting this color in a mini brillant with a silver, very modern, sharp look. So we introduced this size last year. That's season. so cute! Mm -hmm. They come with a crossbody strap and it's just so charming. It fits your phone. It's a limited edition type of um, touch on our yeah. On Does our it come in non-exotics too, or okay? Yes. So you can get. We do have a variety of regular leathers. Okay. Yes, both in box cap and uh, Torian leather. Okay. Don't think it's gonna be in real production because this is one of a kind. That's beautiful. I have one of the kind so, store too. Okay. The one you're feeling is exquisite. That's Don't you just think? beautiful. You know the workmanship is exquisite then yes. in our atelier. Nobody done it. Gorgeous. In the market. <laughs> oh we are very creative. <sighs> so cute. as mentioned, Beyond comes in variety of sizes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's actually oh, that inspired by our miniature capsule. We have this gorgeous capsule that we have those um, mini charms that are inspired by major cities. We have a capsule for Italy, France, mm -hmm. Belgium, US. This is actually one of the modern, I mean, editions of Tampet. We reconstructed the bag this last season. So it has a very beautiful, sharper edges, but still, you know, same look, just better. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. So I just, it's yes. I mean, oh my god. I live for it. Oh, you found it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was in the room. You, you it was the Alex <laughs> Arena. It's yes. I'm just. So you don't see this kind of creative effect on the other Maison or brands because it's us, we are very bold and innovative to create this kind of texture. That's beautiful. I know two are the same. Yeah, 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 right. And because the, 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 actually this kind of product, the margin is so low, the reason why we did it because we wanted to demonstrate our creative design mm -hmm. and the, the adventurous design. It's just so That green is really pretty too. They're both gorgeous. My name Paris. I think one must always get McDonald's. I realize I haven't eaten all day and I'm going back to the hotel and I just needed something easy, something I could eat in my room 
and McDonald's was there. And I really, really wanted a Coke Zero. So there you are. Paris McDonald's to the rescue. Okay, so we have a very large other delivery, which is also very heavy, which is going to require some creative packing. So I'm gonna eat my food first, charge my phone, and then figure out how to get this home. I will probably have to do an unboxing here, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll see. But um, excited to show you. Little follow-up on the uh, <clears throat> McDonald's. Not good. However, the Coke Zero, even though it's in a like paper cup that is now like sort of, it's not disintegrating, but it's like, it's just, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Coke Zero, 10 out of 10. The burger was like, no, granted, I haven't had McDonald's in a long time, but the burger was so dried out, it was practically like shoe rubber. So I ate about three bites of that and called that a day. And the fries, you know, the problem with fries, I, I hate doing takeout with fries and bringing it home, even though I was only walking like five minutes from where McDonald's is. And by the time I got up here with the delivery and everything, I mean, it was probably a good 15 minutes or whatever since they put them in the bag. But yeah, they're just never good transported fries that is. So yeah, overall a very disappointing experience, but you know, that was my own fault. So I'm going to enjoy my Coke Zero and uh, do a couple of un unboxings for you guys so that I can pack this stuff. Hey friends. All right. I'm going to do a little unboxing here because I'm not going to take these boxes home from Louis Vuitton. And yeah, so I'm gonna at least show you the unboxing here so that then when I reveal the item on my channel, you will see the unboxing part. So, and some of these I think have like multiple items in them. I'm not really quite sure because there should have been one, two, three, there should have been four items all together. So we're gonna do this box first. So I'm on the plane, ready to go home. Sad that my time in Paris and London are over, but also very excited to go see my family. So yeah, I'm hoping to stay awake basically for my, like the majority of the flight. Anyway, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by an announcement, I'm excited to get home. I'm excited to see what has been done in the condo. I don't have good thoughts for my pantry. I'm just going to say that right now. I think David would have told me if my pantry was done. Mm -hmm. And as of like two days ago, it wasn't. So anyway, I will, unfortunately I'm like at a window seat, but I don't have a window. Strange. So I'll try to get a little footage like over this person's seat of leaving Paris. But if I don't, I will say au revoir, Paris. 